Two months ago, I set off on a mission to find and brew a beer that would complement Janet Street Porter's veal. It's a very mellow, creamy, rich beer. That is delicious. That I could then brew in my own back garden. Super sweet. Great. That is incredible. You know, we've got some nice hops and we'll get a lovely, smooth, creamy yeah. flavour to the beer. That's like a witch's potion when you stir it A around. witch's potion? Excuse me. Hey, this is your dad's very own beer. Let's hope this fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Nine days later, the brew was ready to be transferred into an oak bourbon barrel, where it spent several weeks absorbing the barrel's unique caramel flavour. The barrel, this is where all the flavour comes from. So we're going to put the beer in here for 30 days, uh -huh. and it's going to transform it, add a lot of oak character, yep. a bit of vanilla. We just need to pump it into the barrel now. Yep. So I've brought these staves just to show you. This is a part of an oak barrel. Right. Right. It's been used for bourbon. Yeah. Before they fill it with bourbon, they char it, they fire the inside. Incredible. And that's why you've got this black coloration. It's charcoal. Surely it would make the beer darker, though. No, no, no. It doesn't make the beer darker. It actually takes a bit of colour out. But... And you can see this layer here. It's where the bourbon has previously soaked into. And it's changed the flavour of the wood in there. So that now, when our beer's going in here, yeah. that flavour that's in there comes leaching out and goes into the beer. And that's where we get the sort of vanilla, the creamy character yeah. of this beer. Ah, uh, to get it all. Canny Scottish trick there, Don't tip the bow. Come on. <laughs> get it all. <laughs> <laughs> Only Scotland can get that one in. <laughs> right down to the last Come few bit of form. Come on, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> oh, I think that'll do us. The smell is amazing. It's sort of biscuity, creamy flavor. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just getting better and better and better. This is going to really change things. Seriously. Really transform it. There we go. Two months later, the beer is ready to be bottled and drunk. A house proud Tana has had to put up with a lot over the years and has drawn the line at me building a beer bottling plant in the garage. Bloody hell! So Dougal and I wait out a view of my house to meet a man with a mobile bottling solution. Fuck so me. this guy has yeah. got oh. a bottling line on the back of this lorry. So this thing's mobile, travels around the country bottling beer. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, God. I can spot the barrel. Bloody hell. This mobile bottling unit will cool and filter the beer, removing any remaining yeast and then carbonating it to give it a light fizz. My first ever bottle, homemade brew. It needs to be perfect. It's too late to start over. Oh, it's fucking delicious. Yeah. Brew my beer in the whiskey-soaked oak barrel has really paid off. It's extraordinary. Next one. My very own beer. Whee! The flavour will work brilliantly with Janet's veal. So the exciting thing now will be coming up with a veal dish that can match that. You've got something to base it uh, on there. Yeah, absolutely. Not just a soft flavour, absolutely. Oh, Jesus, look. Okay, that's definitely overkill. Ooh. I feel like I'm fucking Willy Wonka. Charlie the Chocolate Factory. I think we've got a unique homemade bottled beer there, don't you? Yeah, I'm looking um, forward to something it. Something that I'm very happy with. I can't wait to see the feedback in the dining room. Sure. Ah, beautiful. What a process. Um, can't wait to taste it alongside the veal. Now, one more job, the labels. I think I'll get the kids involved with that. Here it is. Look at that. That is our very own, yes, home-brewed, homemade beer. What does it say, Jack? A traditional ale aged in a whiskey barrel for a smoother finish. Brewed in the Ramsey family garden, London 2008. How cool yes, is that? Yes, how cool is that?